hope my neighbor isn't watching. Hello everyone, Tasha here. For today's video, I am doing the booktube partner tag and I'm so excited. Knock from Happy Comes First messaged me and asked me if, sh if, if I wanted to do this tag with her and I had a look at it. I haven't heard of it before and I think it is such an amazing idea and I was so happy that Nock messaged me about it. I will link her channel down below and also the video that she will post for this. Everything will be linked down below. You should definitely check Nock out. She's such a fantastic human being and I'm so glad to consider her as a booktube friend. Basically the booktube partner tag, you pair up with another booktuber and you give each other 10 bookish questions and two personal questions and that's what Nock and I did and I will answer her questions now. Hi Tasha's friends! I'm Nock from Happy Comes First. Tasha, thank you so much for having me here on your channel and here are your questions. Number one, which fictional characters would you want to be in your ultimate girl squad? My ultimate girl squad would definitely consist of Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices, Violet Fairdale, Fairdale from the Creepy Hollow series, ooh, Cap, obviously from Fangirl. Always have to include Cap for this. How many people are in a squad? Does it matter? Oh, Blue Sergeant from the Raven Cycle. That would be cool. Anyone else? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave it with those four. Tessa, Kath, Violet, and Blue. Question two. Have you ever rooted for a non-canon pairing? Usually I'm someone who luckily roots for the canon pairing, but one pairing that I kind of wished to see in a book was Alina and the Darkling from the Grisha trilogy. I wasn't such a big fan of Mal. Um, he's alright and in the end I did like them, Alina and Mal, being together, but I think I would have preferred Alina ending up with the Darkling. I, I just really like the Darkling. Question 3. Which author would you want to write your autobiography? I would go with favorite authors. Um, those would probably be Cassandra Clare and Rainbow Rowell, but with the writing style aspect, I would definitely go with Tahara Mafi. I just finished Shatter Me a few days ago, or a week ago, I don't know. I absolutely loved her writing. Tahara's writing definitely had me... Question four, what is your favorite fictional male and female name? My favorite female fictional name is Kestrel from the Winner's Crime trilogy. I really, I don't know what it is about the name, but I really like it. And as for male fictional names, ooh, Kale from Throne of Glass. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Kale. Kale? 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 Kestrel and Kale. Question five, if you could rewrite the ending to a book, which one would it be? If I could rewrite the ending of a book, I would write, rewrite the ending of Ruin and Rising, especially the Darklings ending. Question six, name your favorite fictional relationship of all time. This is the hardest question ever. How could you, how, how, how does one answer this question? I, I'm gonna go with three favorite fictional relationships. My three OTPs. Two of those are like constant favorites. The first one being Jason Clary from The Mortal Instruments, and the second one being Kath and Levi. Uh, and the third one is my current favorite, and that would be Violet and Rin from the Creepy Hollow series. Question seven What would be worse? Having your favorite character die or turn evil? This is another mean question. How? Oh my god. I want to say having them die would be worse, but if I like, try to imagine that some of my favorite characters would turn evil, that would probably destroy me. And I mean, them having dying would do the same thing, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go with having them die would be worse because even if they were evil, 
they would still be around, like around in the fictional world. And also for some reason, I talked about this with you, Nock, and for some reason I'm kind of drawn to like kind of evil characters. Not necessarily evil, but like, for example, the Darkling or Sebastian or Warner from Shatter Me. Question eight. Which fictional character's power or special ability do you wish you had? One skill that I think is really cool is the shapeshifting that Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices can do. Um, I don't know what I would use it for, maybe just to have fun, but that would be kind of a cool skill. Something else that I wish I could do was travel via portals as in the Creepy Hollow series. I also mentioned this in my Shadowhunters tag. If you're not familiar with this series, um, the fairies in the Creepy Hollow series have like a stylus and they write some words or a spell something on a wall and a portal appears and they step through it and just have to think about where they want to be and they will be there. And that's kind of cool. I wish I could do that because that way I could visit all of my friends that live all across the world without having to pay for a plane ticket. Question 9. How do you decide what to read next from your TBR? This is really random for me. I don't know, how do I decide? I don't know. I'm kind of a mood reader. I used to have this to read jar filled with all of the books that I still want to read. And I would just pick a piece of paper out and read what was on that. But I didn't enjoy, I didn't quite like that because <laughs> at some point I would I would pick out the piece of paper, see what it is, but then end up reading something else because I wasn't in the mood for that. So I'm a mood reader, it always depends. Since I've joined booktube, I've read a lot of books that have been quite hyped, like Shatter Me or Throne of Glass. It, I don't have a system on how I decide what to read next, it's really random for me. Question 10. Which fictional character do you wish was your best friend? An obvious answer would be Kath from Fangirl again, but someone else that I wish was my real life friend is Noah Ch Cherney? I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Noah from The Raven Cycle. He is such a sweetheart and a puppy and having him as a friend would probably complete my life. Not really, but it would make it a lot better. And here are your two personal questions. The first one is, if you ever wrote your own book, which genre would it be? My favorite genre is fantasy and I wish I had the imagination and skill to write. I wish I had the skill to write in general, but if I did have that, I wish I could like create this amazing fantasy world, but I don't think I could, so I think if I were to write a book, probably not, but if it were to happen, I think it would be more contemporary. I don't know. I'm not the best at creating whole new worlds, so yeah. Probably contemporary, but I wish it was fantasy. I wish I could write stories in general. <laughs> and question two is, what do you love most about your job? So for those of you who don't know, I I am a kindergarten teacher or nursery nurse or whatever you call it in your country. I work at a kindergarten. Well, at the moment I don't, but that's my job. At what I did and what I'm gonna look for in the UK. Um, I work in a kindergarten, look after children. And what I most love about my job is there's so many things I love about that job. So I've worked in that kindergarten that I stopped working at now. I worked there for three years, so for three years there were children in there that I looked after and played with for three years and just watching them grow up and learn new things and develop and all those kinds of things and knowing that I was a part of that and helped them and just was part of their just knowing that I was a part of their journey of growing up that oh my god that's probably my favorite thing about my job and what really keeps me going there uh, it, it is a very exhausting job 
but knowing that I am part of these children's life and helping them and just being there for them is what I really love. That was a really long answer all over the place, but yeah. Thank you so much for having me on your channel and I can't wait to hear your answers. So that was it, the booktube partner tag that I did with Nock from Happy Comes First. Thank you Nock so much for doing this with me. I can't wait to see your video and how you answer my questions and if you guys liked this, give it a thumbs up. Check out my social media down below and also Nox's channel. She's so lovely and everyone should subscribe to her. And I will see you next time. Bye!